Yeah, but like Liam Hemsworth is really hot, don't you think? Yeah, but I honestly think that Ryan Gosling's really hot. Yeah, I think his personality is really cute. Like mm -hmm. him and the Hey guys, it's Riss and it's Lex. And you have now clicked on Riss and Lex. Today we are talking about to hot or to hot. So pretty much the best features in a male. You're such a bad, 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 bad boy. And the like best hair. Eighth grade Justin Bieber. Ashton Kutcher all the time. So why do you think Ashton Kutcher? Um, have you seen his flow on that 70s show to like him marrying Mila Kunis? Like freaking amazing hair. Why Justin Bieber? Because everybody wanted his hair back in the day. Didn't he sell it for like a hundred thousand dollars or something whenever he got a haircut to someone on the like internet, like bit on his hair? That just shows you that he has really good hair. Best eyes. Zac Efron, Chase Crawford. The first movie that he ever did when I first realized how beautiful his eyes were was Charlie St. Cloud. And I know it was like not, I don't know. I just remember, I couldn't even remember the plot because his face was so close up and he always was crying in it and it just really made me emotional and I love him. <laughs> Chase Crawford in Gossip Girl, like, oh my gosh, his eyes, oh, you could like mm. see what he was feeling. It was so great. Can he like literally marry me though, so. So every girl's dream. Best jawline. I would definitely have to say Taylor Lautner. Like, his jawline is so good. And all of you Twilight fans out there know what I'm talking about. It's just, it's so angular, and it just plays the perfect wolf, too, but I'm into that, I guess, so. Chad Michael Murray is definitely the best jawline. I mean, have you seen him? Even in that, like, I don't remember the airplane movie, but in One Tree Hill, jawline, on point. Best spot. I would definitely go with Channing Tatum. I would Definitely have to say Ryan Reynolds. Have you seen him in The Proposal? No, I know. It was like that one scene with yeah. him and Sandra Bullock, and yeah. he was like, and he, like cut. his shirt. Yeah, like. he was doing something outside. Literally, Channing Tatum has been my dream since I could say probably like seventh now grade. He's married, no, so dream cut. Uh, let me tell you, I was the first person to really be in love with him because. I watched She's the Man, and literally he was Duke Orsino, and I loved him since then, and I love I'm that still movie. loving him. I love that movie. Best voice. Sam Smith. Justin Timberlake. I feel like it could be just best voice in general, like speaking voice or singing voice, you know? Do you have like a favorite speaking voice person? No, Justin Timberlake all around. <laughs> when you hear him talk at the award show, it's like kind of like smooth, really light, and like airy. And then when you hear him sing, it like, no. Just, Justin Timberlake all the way for every voice, like talking and singing. I think best speaking voice, honestly, Trace Adkins. It's so That's deep true. in country, and I think it is so. Got me feeling some type of way. And then oh, I would say I really <laughs> like the Sam Smith's voice. Like he just mm -hmm. makes you want to like fall asleep listening to no, him. No, I love his music. It's really yeah. Great. Even Ed Sheeran too. Love his music. Mm -hmm. Well, now that you've heard our insight on best hair, best eyes, best bod, best voice, it's up to you to tell us what you think. So comment below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below if you like this video. If you don't like this video. Or if you think you could potentially be one of our future husbands. Please subscribe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>